love it up there and uh, go up there and I write most of my songs up there and I and I do a lot of fishing when I'm up there and, uh, and I've been fishing that lake for 55 years and more now and uh, and I've gotten really good at fishing that lake uh, I mean I've gotten really really good at it and uh, I can be doing something on the shore and, and I can just look out over the water and all of a sudden everything just looks right and I go, yeah, this is, this is a fish moment and I'll go get my fishing rod and I'll go down the end of the dock and I'll throw my plastic worm in and, and more often than not on that cast the fish will take it and I'll set the hook and I'll bring the fish in and then let it go and then just go back to doing what I'm doing and it happens all the time. It's, like, it's kind of remarkable. and. Uh, and it happened a, a few times last summer when I was up there and uh, one time I was sitting on the shore reading with my wife and uh, and all of a sudden I looked out and the sky looked perfect, the clouds were just right, and the waves were just right and I said this is this is a fish moment. Uh, I know there's one out there off the end of the dock right now and, and uh, so I went down there and got my fishing rod and threw my plastic worm in off the end of the dock and sure enough something hit on it and I set the hook and I immediately realized it was a big fish and, and it was going to take me a while to get it in and, and it did and uh, I got it in and it was about a five pound largemouth bass which is pretty big for up there and took it off the hook and uh, you hold them by the lower lip so you stick your thumb in their mouth and you grab their lower lip and they can't do anything and they're just sort of hanging down there and, and I turned to show my wife who was up on shore I thought and she wasn't there and, and she had gone up to the to the cottage for something and so I thought she's got to see this fish she really likes to fish too and she'll appreciate this so I ran up to the cabin with the fish and she was in the kitchen and I, I said look at this and she goes wow it's really big what are you going to do with it and I said I'm going to let it go it's going to be the only fish swimming around in the lake that's ever been inside of a building <laughs> I thought that was kind of clever, and, uh, and then my wife said, we should show it some television. <laughs> so she turned the TV on, I went over there, and held it in front of it, I, I turned it, I gave it like five seconds for each eye, I wanted it to have the full experience, and, and then I ran back down to the lake and I put it in and it swam off, and I felt really good about that. <laughs> And then, and then, I swear, I swear, I swear, even after that, the fishing got even better. And I think that fish was telling the other fish, he's like, you just, just go ahead and bite on that stupid piece of plastic they keep throwing in, and you won't believe what happens. You won't believe the colors you'll see.
ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ